Okay, so let's stick with column buckling, but now let's talk about columns that are not pinned and pinned. Uh, so that brings up this effective length um, idea. Uh, the equation that we've got, P critical, the force, the axial force, the compressive axial force that will cause buckling is pi squared EI over KL squared. And this K is one for pinned and pinned connections. Uh, if it is pinned at this end and pinned at that end, or at least assumed to be pinned and pinned at both ends, K is equal to one. But if it's a different connection, then K will be some other value. Um, and K is the value <clears throat> that will that will um, calculate the effective distance between points of zero moments. All right, so uh, if it's pinned and pinned, there's zero moment right here, there's zero moment right here. Uh, but if it is, um, so for instance, if, if it is fixed and free, then there's zero moment here, but there is a moment here, and the, the you know, effective distance um, between a zero moment point right here, there would be another zero moment point way, way, way past it. Um, so its effective length is two times its total length. Um, the effective length, if it is fixed and fixed, is half, is 0.5 L. And the effective length, if it is pinned and fixed, is 0.7 L. We didn't derive this. If we looked at the derivation, if we really derived this, then this um, term right here would be the unsupported length, the, the, the distance between unsupported, the distance between zero moments. Um, all right, so anyway, all we have to know though is now if it is not pinned and pinned, if we need to figure out, okay, what is it? Is it fixed and free? Then K is equal to two. K is equal to two for fixed free. If it is fixed fixed, K is equal to 0.5 for fixed, fixed, uh, and if it is pinned fixed, k is equal to 0.7. For pinned on one end, fixed on the other end. Y'all don't have to memorize that. I will give you that in the problem statement, although it's not too hard to memorize right here. Uh, so anyway, we just plug that value in for k, uh, so it, it changes, <clears throat> and do you think it makes sense that I could have the same material, um, and it would take um, smaller uh, a smaller force to um, buckle it for the fixed free uh, versus for a fixed fix? It takes the largest. Why the largest? This is in the denominator. Um, you know, larger value in the denominator. Right, takes small, it gives you a smaller value here. Uh, but anyway, now we're going to use this K. If it's bit pinned and pinned, K is equal to 1, but any other sort of connection has a different K value. But we're still using pi squared EI over quantity KL. Make sure you square the K and the L uh, squared. All right?